Welcome everybody to the quick how-to video on how to do a Microsoft Excel round trip. Um, as you know, the CoBeamer offers round trip functionality with Microsoft Excel and with Microsoft Word. And in this video, we're going to show you how to do it with Microsoft Excel. If you want to see how we can do this with Microsoft Word, please check our video library. We also provide a video on this topic. So let's have a quick walkthrough through the how-to video. So first, we will be in our functional requirements and we will export those requirements as a round trip Microsoft Excel document. Um, then we will edit the exporter requirements into Microsoft Excel and we will import the change document back into the CoBeamer. Then the import wizard of CoBeamer will highlight the changes and we are provided with the possibility to either check or uncheck those changes. And in the end, when all the changes are imported, the CoBeamer provides the possibility to trace the changes. So let's go to our CoBeamer. Here we are in our trackers, and here we are in our functional requirements. So let's go to the functional requirements. Here we have a few. Let's actually go into more and export those to Microsoft Office. The default is the Microsoft Roundtrip Word export, but we will choose the Excel Roundtrip. So this is the document. And our requirements have a certain business value, so let's change the business value right here to should have and do a quick edit on those values as well. Moreover, we have a status which is really new. So let's actually change all statuses into really new. Save these requirements on the desktop. Now let's go back to our CoBeamer. Now we once again we will go on more then we will go to import. Here we are provided with the possibility to import Word, Doors, Excel or CVS files. Let's import some Excel files and just import the documents we just have edited. Click on next. Now the Code Beamer guides us through import wizard meaning he will automatically recognize the ID, the business value, and accordingly the summary and the other attributes. So simply, we don't have to do anything. Simply just click on Next. Uh, the account mapping, the status mapping uh, is a more advanced feature. We will not cover this in a video, so simply we can click on Next. And now we have a preview on the individual items um, and see what really actually were the changes. So for instance, this item here the original value in CoBeamer, which is symbolized with that little logo, was accepted, and the new value, which is highlighted in yellow, coming from Microsoft Excel, is actually really new. And this goes accordingly, and here we have the possibility to either check or uncheck those changes and import them. So let's click on Finish and import all those changes. So you can see so which items actually have been updated. And we can actually check out the changes we just performed. So you can see there was the original and now we have changed it into should have. Also I can only check out the different fields. Moreover, as the code beamer provides full traceability, so let's go to the carbon fiber plastic structure and let's check out its history. See, you always can see who has done what on what particular point of item, since each artifact in the code beamer comes its own comes with its own history. Thanks for watching.